One of the most ironic things in the last decade has happened in the last few days. Tommy Robinson has got a taste of his own medicine. I'm not to Jenna. Asalaamu <laughs> Alaikum guys, welcome to Smile to Jenna. Now Tommy Robinson, who lately has refused to speak to the mainstream media. Why would I have anything to say to you? All you do is lie. Has spoken to the mainstream media. The king of crap and controversy is yet in another one. And again, something of his own choosing. If you read the Sun newspaper, if you read Russia Today, if you look at LBC, all of them said, LBC, that I don't care if my message incites fear against Muslims. Now Tommy Robinson, <coughs> dare I say it, was actually right on this one. That Sky had changed his words and taken them out of context. They'd actually changed two words, took letters off of both words, which completely changed the context of what I said. Now I hope Tommy's not failing to see the irony in this, which is he does exactly the same thing, but with Muslims and Islam. All the drivers in the UK are Muslim immigrants. So again he's claimed that the media lies, we all know this. In fact I've made an entire video where I've compiled major news headlines where they've lied against Islam and Muslims and after complaints they've retracted that news statement and posted it in the middle somewhere. And ironically Tommy's crying here about lying where he does the same thing about Muslims. In fact I've done an entire video where I've just compiled the lies of Tommy. The link is in the description. Now you got loads of people like Ali Dawa that have asked Tommy Robinson that alright mate your actions are noble and they're good. Grooming gangs need to be stopped but why is it Tommy that you only target Pakistani or brown grooming gangs? Why not white grooming gangs and gangs of other ethnicities? Now Sky here asked him about certain cases of white grooming gangs. Now Tommy gave the most poorest response mate. And this is an understatement. In fact to call it a response is I think very disrespectful to this word. Pure worried about grooming gangs and paedophilia, why aren't you outside the courthouse of a bunch of white paedophiles who are raping toddlers and babies in 2015? Okay, good question. Let's hear the response. And, I, and I'm telling you. Okay, we're ready for the masterpiece. Hit us. That these gangs have been allowed to do it for 30 years. But I'm uh -huh. What's that got to do with anything? Saying, well, what about the Catholic Church? Tens of thousands of children. Why church. are you not outside there? I despise cases? the Catholic Church. Why aren't you outside the Catholic Church? Oh, I despise the Catholic Church. How on earth is this a valid response, mate? Operation U Tree. Have you ever stood outside an Operation U Tree, Charles? Have I? No. Why not? Is it because they're white? Was, no, it's not. Is it's it because they're not Muslims? It, no, it's not. No. What about, what about sex I've, tourists? As I've just told you. What about people like Gary Glitter who go abroad and rape children in Cambodia or. Do you know what? Do you know what? Okay, quite a few cases have been brought forward. Let's see what Tommy Robinson is going to say in return. He hasn't really answered any of the questions. Let's see. Does that your upset job? You? Your job. I'm actually, unfortunately, I've had to come and fill a void and do your job. Absolute useless response, mate. Didn't give any valid reason. Pathetic. Thank you, Tommy, for providing us with yet more entertainment. I think he's going back in prison again, or he's coming back out. One of the two. Anyways guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We're nearly there at the 100k mark. Keep up your support. Jazakallah khair. And until next time. Asalaamu Alaikum.